Welcome back to the show. Ready to move on? Ready. Let's move. My next guest tonight is here to promote her new movie, which will be premiering at the Appalachian Film Festival April 17th at the Keith Albee. We keep hammering that home. Please welcome the beautiful, the talented, the award-winning producer-director, Francesca Carley. <laughs> you know Zippy here? Good to see you. Thank you. Getting a little love there from Zip. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. No. Francesca, how are you? I'm doing well. First thing, thank I, you for having me. I know you love the show. I know you yes. watch the show. Every thank, week. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Let's talk about your new movie, Back okay. to the Bottle. Um, started, you know, I did the first one with homelessness, and mm -hmm. my angle with the first one was kind of to eliminate stereotypes that all um, homeless are alcoholics. So. I think I uh, corrected that a little bit, but I wanted to show that there was a connection and a good friend of mine that um, was in the first film got in a big car accident and um, had battled with addiction his whole life. He was left paralyzed for about a year and we didn't think he'd walk again. Hmm. So uh, a miracle happened and he, and he started to do well again, but he went back to the bottle. And I couldn't um, seem to understand like, you know, I just wanted to shake him, like why can't you stop this? But it's not that easy. So I wanted to do another film to show um, how alcohol um, affects the brain, how it changes, it changes the brain chemistry. And so I just, um, with him, he was in my first one, now he's gonna be in the second one, kind of cool. highlighting his life. Well, how, how do you come, how do you start? I mean, how long ago did you think of this process? When did you say his accident was? Um, it was about a year and a half ago. And then how long ago did you start the process? Hey, I wanna do another feature about mm -hmm. this. How long does that usually take? Well, I didn't even really wanna do another film, but just so many people <laughs> ask, are you gonna do another one? So I just thought, you know, um, to do another film and it took about probably a year now planning. now do you think this one is going to have as much effect as your last one did I mean you won some awards you national television you were all over the place for your last one on River's Edge what do you think this one's going to do um, I hope it has the same impact on, on the community on people everywhere um, you know God definitely had his hand on the first one and that's why I think it went as far as it did and so hopefully you know the second one can touch as many people because I know alcoholism is really close to uh, mm -hmm. affects a lot of people through families or you know so uh, I hope it you know does the same. Well, let's talk about the the process, and I think we have some still shots here. Let's okay. talk about the process of actually doing the the production here. There's one of okay. them there. I have um, so much great help. So many people that have volunteered their time. That's um, Kim Wolf, and there's a scene with Ashley McNeely. He was on the show earlier this uh, this season. He's the law, law enforcement yes, officer. Yes, he's, he's, this is a DUI. So he's scene. acting, right? Yes. Okay. He's acting. This is a DUI scene, and um, the other guy in the plaid. That's Chris Caranta. He's um, a brand new up and coming actor and he plays Paul and then this is Josh Edwards he's my cameraman he was my cameraman for the first film and now he's with me this second time around cool so some of these people are are local but yet you're getting people from other parts of the yes. state and parts mm -hmm. of the region what do we have here this I think. is uh, Chris he's yeah. the actor on the left and then Paul Mead he's the that's who the story is all about that's cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have here. There you That's are. That's me and Josh. Where was this? This looks like... Is this it is a private drive uh, behind Ritter Park. Mm -hmm. And um, the car behind us is an old-fashioned car we use kind of to set the scene. How long is your movie? It's about 35 minutes right now. Not, well, right now, so it's not even completed. Well, we have some pretty exciting news that I um, received last week. I always wanted a special um, introduction Oh. for a celebrity to do and so I kind of got word that a really big uh, motion picture star is going to be able to do that for me. Cool. Well, it looks like some good pictures there. A lot of fun of it goes into shooting. How many weeks did it take you to, to, to shoot the actual film? Uh, probably about four months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Josh and I. Well, because you're not doing it full time, I bet, right? I mean, is right, it... with school and work and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and, and um, we were able to, like I was able to, you know, write the scene and the dialogue, so it was really fun this time. It was definitely a different experience than the first one, which was a documentary, mm -hmm. so. Not bad. Had a lot of fun now, with it. Now, we mentioned that you're gonna be premiering this at the Keith Albee. How do we get tickets? Um, you can get tickets at Midway Barbershop, um, the CCSAPP, that's the Cabell County Substance Abuse Partner Prevention. Okay, you're dropping Prevention. names, that's fine. That's difficult um, to get they out. They also sell it, and through uh, the Coalition for the Homeless. Awesome, so yes. it, it, you're planning a big "Quote unquote red carpet deal for your premiere. Yes. Right? You're bringing some big names in. Can we say one of them that you're bringing in? Um, well, Ashley's going to be there, and Ashley, um, yeah, McNeely. My my beautiful date is going to be a punk from the hit VH1 show. I love New York too. Oh, 
<laughs> he'll be there. So I'm real excited about that. Absolutely. Now, and what about George Huff? <laughs> and George Huff. George Huff from American Idol, yes, season Huff American. two? No, I think season it was Fantasia season. I don't know what season. Maybe six. Okay. We'll I don't, have to go I don't do even research. know. Yeah. I but should but know he'll that. be now, can you get him to come on our show maybe? <laughs> I'll try. Tell him to come. He's a nice guy, I'll ask him. But. Cool. Now, <laughs> you know, you had those people on your show, but you also had a casting call for people local, right? Yes, I had a local casting call and um actually only one person showed up. Really? And I brought her here with me today. Can we meet her real quick? You can meet her. Let's bring this her out. Teresa K. Howard. Teresa, everybody. come on out. Okay. Hello, Teresa. Uh, nice to meet you. Come on, sit down real quick next to Francesca here. Come here, Teresa. You're welcome. So she was my only one to show up and used her in the shot. And she was a great actress. Well, did you enjoy your time with Francesca? Oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Excellent. Excellent. Francesca, thank you very much thank for coming you, on the show. For me. Now listen, oh, thank you too for <laughs> thank coming out to the door. Thank you very much. You uh, are a band setting up over here yes, on the other we, side uh, here? Yes, we wrote this, I wrote this song, wrote, wrote the lyrics kind of like as a theme for the film called Back to the Bottle and um, Rick Ruggles is on my guitar, he's the main singer, he uh, helped me write the all the music and Jessica yeah. Klein on banjo, Russell Akerley on uh, guitar and Sam St. Clair on harmonica. Which we talked a little bit earlier. Yes. Alright, let's take a listen. Cheer me up when I'm down, turn my world all around. You destroyed all my family and friends. Oh, I'll quit for a while, and then, like a child, it's back to the bottle again. Back to the bottle again. I know that booze ain't my friend. I'll quit for a while and then like a child it's back to the bar. Friends try to tell me that they just don't understand The need for the moonshine bottle in my hand Mom and Pop introduced me to your bittersweet taste Now I'll never let a drop of my drink go away And it's back on the bottle again I know that booze ain't my friend I'll quit for a while and Back to the bar, back to the bar, back to the bar. 